हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग क्लासेस ऑफ पी एन अमोसे हाई स्कूल होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड फाइन एट योर होम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर फोर बेसिक जोमेट्रिकल आइडियाज स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्ट्री वीडियो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वट इज जोमेट्री जोमेट्री इज द ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स विच डील्स विद द प्रॉपर्टीज एंड रिलेशन ऑफ लाइन एंगल्स surfaces and solids the word geometry is divided from two greek words geo meaning the earth and metron meaning to measure in ancient times people needed to measure earth or land so that they could buy or sell it just as arithmetic deals with numbers geometry deals with figures points and lines students in simple words we can say that geometry means when we talk about different shapes lines and measurement now students what is point a point is usually represented by a small dot and is named by a single capital letter of the alphabet a point has a position and we can ascertain its location however it has no magnitude that is it has no length breadth or thickness In other words we can say that a point is the mark of position it has neither length nor width nor thickness and occupies no space you cannot draw an actual point on paper no matter how sharp a pencil you see point is represented by a dot in other words students we can say that a point is a location in space we may think of a point as a dot on a piece of paper we identify this point with number or an upper case letter a point has no length or width it just specifies an exact location next topic is line segment line segment is another one of the basic geometric ideas it can be defined as the shortest route between any two points for example a line connecting two points a and b can be denoted as a line segment line segment has two end points it can be measured but it cannot be extended on any of the side students here is an example mark any two points a and b on sheet of paper here you can see a sheet of paper is given mark two points a and b and try to connect a to b by all possible routes now what is the shortest route from a to b the shortest joint from a to b shown here is a line segment it denoted by line segment ab or ba the point a and b are called the end points of the segment now the next topic is line students in your childhood our first experience with the pencil would surely having associated with drawing random lines but do you know lines are the most vital element of ancient geometry moreover the geometrical figure has led to the development of several modern day theory which we are studying at present students a line which is one of the most basic geometrical concept after a point is straight one dimensional geometrical shape that extends infinitely in both the direction apart from length a line does not have any width or height it can be passed through numerous point hence it is named by picking any two points on it a line is obtained when a line segment like ab is extended on both the sides indefinitely it is denoted by line ab or sometimes by a single small letter like l line has no end points and it cannot be measured as it extends on both the side indefinitely students our next topic is intersecting lines two distinct lines meeting at a point are called intersecting lines here you can see l1 and l2 two lines are given and both the lines pass through point p so we can say that l1 and l2 intersect at point p If two lines lie in the same plane and are not parallel to each other they are called intersecting lines Now our next topic is parallel lines two straight lines 
are said to be parallel to each other if they lie in the same plane and do not meet even when produced up to any extent on either side here students you can see two lines in a plane are said to be parallel if they do not meet here are few examples of how to identify a parallel lines for example the opposite edge of the ruler or scale or railway lines are example of parallel lines in simple words we can say that lines like which do not meet are said to be parallel are called parallel lines now we move to our next topic that is ray it is a straight line that starts from a fixed point and moves in the same direction a ray extends indefinitely only in one direction ray is a part of line students you can say that a ray is a portion of line it starts at one point called starting point and goes endlessly in a direction so we can say that a ray also cannot be measured and it has one end point for example two points are shown on the ray they are first a the starting point second b p a point on the path of the ray we can denote it by ray ap students here are some models or we can see examples for a ray first one is beam of light from a lighthouse second ray of light from a torch and third sun rays now students what is polygon a polygon can be defined as a closed curve which is made up of line segments polygons can be of numerous types like triangles having three line segment quadrilaterals having four line segments pentagon having five line segments hexagon having six line segments and so on a few important terms are related to polygons the line segments are the sides of the polygon second any two sides with a common end point are adjacent sides third the meeting point of a pair of sides is called a vertex fourth the end point of the same side are adjacent vertices and fifth one the join of any two non adjacent vertices is a diagonal now next is angles an angle is made up of two rays starting from a common end point here for an example angle aob is given which is made up of two rays ray oa and ray ob which will make angle aob or we can say boa now our next topic is triangles a triangle is a three sided polygon or we can say a triangle is as a polygon having three line segments or three sides here for an example you can see a triangle is given triangle abc in this triangle it has three sides ab bc and ac and it also has three angles angle bac angle bca and angle abc in the short we can say angle a angle c and angle b now here there are three vertices also of the triangle they are point a b and c next is quadrilateral a four sided polygon is a quadrilateral quadrilateral is defined as a four sided polygon which is having four sides that is four line segments and four angles a diagram of quadrilateral is given for better understanding it should be noted that the vertices of a quadrilateral are named in a cyclic manner in this diagram we can say that ad and bc are one of the example of adjacent sides ad and bc are one of the opposite sides of the quadrilateral here angle a and angle c are opposite angles in this if the line segment is drawn from a to c or from b to d it becomes a diagonal a quadrilateral has four sides ab bc cd and da it also has four angles angle a angle b angle c and angle d now our next topic is circles a circle is a simple closed curve which is not a polygon a circle can be defined as a closed figure formed by a set of points in a plane which are located at the same distance from a fixed point which is the center parts of the circle first part center the fixed point second part is radius the fixed distance at which the points are located from the center is called the radius third part is diameter 
a diameter is a chord passing through the center diameter is the length of a line segment which joins any two points on the circle by passing through the center diameter is always double than the radius next fourth part is chord a line segment joining any two points on the circle is called a chord fifth is circumference which is distance around the circle and it is also known as the perimeter now students a region in the interior of a circle enclosed by an arc on one side and a pair of radii on the other two sides is called a sector and a region in the interior of a circle enclosed by a chord and an arc is called a segment of the circle students with this we end our today's video and will continue with our chapter in the next video thank you